guess I would say I'm kind of nervous about messing things up because like company money is like invested into the things I'm going to be working on. So if I like contaminate the cells or just completely blow an experiment, I mean, I pr they probably expect me to mess some things up, but <laughs> I guess that's what you sign up for when you take an intern, but still kind of nervous about being responsible for that and hopefully I don't get too mad. I am pretty excited to learn about just different things they're doing and to increase my knowledge and understanding of cancer. It's always really interested me. And um, to have some of really awesome, solid lab skills and learn from different people. Because, I mean, let's see, how do I say this? Like, there's a lot of different ways to do things in the lab. And it really just depends on who's teaching you what you think is the best way. So I'm excited to get some different perspectives other than just the grad students that I've been working with in the past and, you know, get some really seasoned scientists explaining to me how to do things. As far as my expectations go, I expect it to be um, pretty hard and intense. I mean, I'm doing, I'm going to be doing 40 hours a week, which um, I've never had a 40 hour a week job before. I, I definitely have spent like during school, I spend at least 40 hours, like, at class and, and working on assignments and studying. So it's not that different, but I think there's just something different than, than doing, like, the same thing all day. Well, hopefully it's a little varied. So I'm really excited. Wish me luck. Hey, so I've been working at Tolero now for a week, and, um... It's been going really well so far. Everyone super hardworking, super willing to come in early, stay late, come in even on the weekends. I guess that's just how it goes in a lab where you have living things like mice and cells that can't just be turned off or paused. You know, they like have to be taken care of. So everyone's super willing to give their time and um, also a lot of things get done. I've been running around a ton. Um, the team that I'm working on, so one person was out of town this last week, and so it kind of fell on me to pick up the slack. So that was a really big learning experience for me, and hopefully I didn't mess up things too much. Um, but it felt good to be part of a team and to be needed, and to have my contributions really be meaningful. So... Now we're kind of trying to figure out a project for me to work on independently for the rest of the summer. So looking forward to that this week. And hopefully you can find something good, something interesting, that I can actually do, something I can get data. Hey, this week of my internship was pretty awesome. Started talking with my supervisor about um, hopefully taking on my own project, which is pretty cool. And we had a giant company-wide meeting where we talked about our company's goals in the long term. It was kind of cool to see, get an overview of all the different things we're working on and how far along the pi pipeline they are. Uh, I also got to run some of my own experiments and they looked pretty good. So I'm really excited about that and able to get some, some data for that. Um, and been a lot more independent in things I'm doing and working towards, like I said, being able to do a project of my own. So hopefully I can get started on that this week. Really excited. Hey there, everything is going great at Tolero. Got my company polo on. Hmm. <laughs> so um, I don't even know where to start. I've really just been flourishing on my own and I have gained a lot of independence in doing different tasks and taking care of things on a regular basis for my supervisor and for the other people on my team. Um, they can really count on me and I really like the feeling of being counted on. I have really gained a lot of independence and I love that independence and <laughs> I realize that I'm getting a little used to that. Um, maybe a little too used to that. Today I was doing a simple task. I'd never done it before, but I just confidently was like, I can do this on my own and everything, but 
it ended up not going as well and it, it wasn't a big deal or anything but um, a couple people started coming up and being like oh can I help you with that and then someone else came and then before I knew it I had like five or six people like crowded around me like trying to fix it for me and I got really frustrated actually because I realized that I had been doing so much on my own or I've even been training some newer interns um, there's this kid who's just fresh out of high school and I've been teaching him from the ground up and it's been refreshing um, to kind of go back to the basics of everything and it made me appreciate how far I've come really. Um, there's another intern who is newer and I'm training too so with all these responsibilities I think I've really just gotten a little too used to um, the taste of freedom. <laughs> so when I messed something up and everyone was trying to help me and making me feel less independent Then I got a little frustrated and <laughs> I hope I wasn't too rude to anyone but I was just kind of like I got this like we don't have to have the whole lab come over and help me out so um, I think that was something surprising about myself I had you know I feel like I am a team player but I didn't realize how much I enjoyed just being able to work on my own at my own pace do things my way. I mean, obviously still under supervision and everything, but I, I like it a lot. Uh, my project's going well. I mean, it's not going as we planned, but troubleshooting is always fun, and I, I know that there's a presentation at the end. I don't mind presenting on just the troubleshooting of everything and the whole process because it's been a fun ride either way, <laughs> even if I don't maybe get to do all the experiments that I want because I had some unexpected side effects of doing this one thing so yeah it's going good it's going good I'm working hard working like a dog <laughs> it's great I think my internship helped me be more confident and also more professional help me see what science looks like in the real world um, as far as recommendations to anyone doing a Tolero internship, I would say find a carpool buddy for the drive. Doing this internship helped me see that I like to be independent, I like to do things my way, and I don't appreciate when people tell me how to do my job, <laughs> which is kind of bad, but also good because I can work without supervision, I get things done, I can be counted on. Um, this internship met my expectations. I expected it to be really fun and challenging and to go by really quickly. And it definitely did all those things. One thing um, I could change, if I could change anything about the internship, um, I guess the only thing would be that a little bit closer to Provo because driving in rush hour traffic every day back and forth from Lehigh was a little long. <laughs> I would say my biggest accomplishment during my internship was my presentation and I felt really confident by the time I got there. I was able to answer questions, um, was on a lot of information and hopefully not too long amount of time and I think that presentation skill is something that I will continue to use throughout my career and um, at the end of our internships we had to present in a meeting with the other members of the lab about like 20 people so that was awesome experience I hope I'm remembered as someone who was hardworking it's fun to be around easy to work with as well um, I hope I, that my research that I did hopefully contributes to the company and uh, raises more questions, answers some questions. <laughs> <laughs>